Hey everyone, Alec here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to edit your Zoom videos. So let's say you have a video conference, and in that video conference on Zoom, you give a little presentation to your coworkers. However, after you've given your presentation, you feel like that presentation could provide value to other people than just your coworkers. So you decide that you want to post this video presentation to social media, but first, you need to make sure that you edit it and make a few changes, such as removing the intros and all the unimportant parts, so you only keep the value in your video. So this is what I'm gonna be showing you step-by-step step how to record and edit your Zoom videos for social media. So I'm just gonna start straight away and I'm going to be jumping onto my computer. So in Zoom, we're just going to click on new meeting. Once we've clicked on new meeting, we're now going to be in a video conference. Now I actually don't have a webcam yet. So what I'm gonna do is just quickly join into the call with my phone. So we have an example for video and audio. Okay, so now as you can see, I've joined from my phone. If you take a look, this is the video from my phone and then this is my desktop up here. So the very first thing you're going to want to do to make sure you record your video presentation is just quickly hit the record button down here. This will then start recording everything you do within Zoom. Up next, let's say everyone has joined your video conference. So now what you're gonna do is start your presentation. I'm gonna start it by clicking on share screen and heading over to the whiteboard. So I'm now on my whiteboard and this is where I'm giving my presentation. So I just type out hello, give my presentation, do a little hashtag. And then I've given my presentation and this is all the value I wanted to provide. However, the call isn't yet over. So when I do stop showing my whiteboard, I am back to the video and the call is still going. I can either decide to stop recording it right now and then edit it out later, or I can just click on end meeting and finish recording the video and the call at the same time. So if I do end meeting, a window is gonna pop up which is saying convert meeting recording, and then this recording is then gonna be saved to your computer. Once it is saved, it's going to pop up in this file window here with three files. First of all, we've got the audio only, which is a .m4a. Then we've got a video file, which is a .m3u, and then the .mp4, which is the one we're going to be using. So once we have our Zoom recording, I'm going to head over to Google, and the tool we're going to be using is vid.io. So I'm just gonna type that in the Google search bar. Once I'm on vid.io, I just click on new project. When I'm in my new project, I just want to upload a new video. So I'm just gonna click on the mp4 file, the latest one. I'm just gonna make sure it's the latest one, actually. There we go. Selected the latest one. So now Veed is importing this video into the project and into its timeline. So what we're going to want to do is actually trim off the beginning and the end because we're going to want to trim out the greetings and the outros for this video conference call. So let's just click around on the timeline and round about here is where I start the little drawing on the board. So I leave my playhead here and I'm gonna go ahead and select the clip right here and just drag it all the way over to my playhead and then I'm gonna just drag the clip back to the beginning of the timeline again. So now, when I'm at the beginning of the video, so I'm now on my whiteboard. As you can see, this is my video presentation. So we're gonna do the same thing again, but for the end of the video. Okay, so this is roughly the end of my video. So again, we're just gonna click the end and drag it all the way to the play head. So there we go, here I have my 13 seconds of presentation, which I'm going to want to keep. So let's say I am editing this video for Instagram. First thing I'm gonna be doing is calling it Zoom Call Instagram, all right? So if you're doing multiple of these, you might wanna have one called Zoom Call Instagram, Zoom Call Facebook, if you're all editing them in a different style. So the first thing I'm gonna do is select Square. I'm gonna choose this because we're going to be putting some subtitles on it, maybe a little bit of background music and then a headline. You could choose the portrait mode, but then the little presentation video is gonna be a little bit smaller. You can always just click and drag this out and make it a bit bigger and place it where you want, but I'm going to leave it square for now. So we're gonna go back to square, and I'm gonna go over to the text tab right here and just simply click on new text. And I'm going to just call it awesome presentation. Oh, made, a mistake. made a couple of mistakes there. I don't know what's wrong with me. All right, awesome video presentation. I'm gonna change the layout a little bit. I'm gonna change the color to white due to the fact that um, we are potentially putting on a black background. Um, however, I don't think I'm gonna to want to keep this black background, so I'm gonna head over to projects again, go to background color, and then just change this to this nice turquoise. There we go. 
And now I can either change the font size in here. So for example, go to 60, or I can just click and drag here anyway. So I'm gonna do it like this. I'm not a massive fan of this font either. So I'm just gonna go, let's just say, there we go, this one. Awesome presentation, right? I now have this. I'm going to click and drag this to make sure it's the same length of my file. Um, oh, maybe it was there. My presentation, and this is all the value I wanted to provide. Yeah, okay, so I'm just going to do back. There you go. Yeah, it was. I just couldn't see it because the uh, clip was white. So now what I'm going to do is add some subtitles. So Veed has this amazing auto subtitle tool. So I'm just going to click on auto subtitle, select the language that I'm talking in and just click start. Once you've clicked on start, Veed is then going to automatically transcribe all of the audio that was said in your video into text and turn that text into subtitles. So as we can see, we now have these amazing subtitles right here. So if I just click on play. So I'm now on my whiteboard and this is where I'm giving my presentation. So I just type out hello, give my presentation, do a little hashtag. And then I've given my presentation and this is all as you can see, my subtitles are playing at the bottom of the video. Now, I don't want this little black bar behind them, so what I'm gonna do is head over to the style, and then I can actually change them to this one here and maybe make them a little bit bigger. Maybe that's a bit too big. Change them down to 48, and just make sure this box fits within here. Okay, and what you do wanna do is just go through your subtitles and make sure there are no mistakes. For the purpose of this video and to save time, I am not gonna do that, however. You can easily just quickly correct them and you can also change the times for all of your subtitles. So now I've added subtitles, maybe the last thing I'm going to want to do is add a little bit of audio. So I could just upload audio and I'm going to add a tiny bit of background music. So I could just bring this in. Again, I'm going to trim this due to the fact that I don't want the audio to be that long at all. So now I've trimmed it a little bit and I can just add my volume right here and we are going to turn it down just to make sure it's not too loud. So if I click on play from the beginning. So I'm now on my whiteboard and this is where I'm getting... We can hear the music in the background. Obviously you don't have to add music, you can just quickly delete it. But that is how you edit your Zoom videos. Once you've done, you can simply just click on download and then your video will start rendering. And then once it's finished rendering, you can actually download it and save it to your computer and then post it wherever you want. So that is how you record and edit Zoom videos for your social media. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section down below and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If this video was helpful to you, please hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna see more and I'll see you guys in the next video.